Let's see. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. Well, hopefully our MC didn't just curse this. High Tide scoring two cones as they often have. And Team Rembrandt score, scoring a cone and a cube. Oh, looks like High Tide modified their autonomous mode. They picked a cone up and then tried to get onto the charging station. But, well, I don't think it was last time either. It's currently 58 to 41 against these two powerhouse alliances, but it looks like the Milton Knights might be having some connectivity issues as their robot, oh, it, it is moving, but just slowly. High Tide zips around the field, grabbing a cube from their substation, reaching up and depositing it into the middle node of the top row. Over on the Blue Alliance, the Octobots trying to maneuver around Team 4 Element, who's running some defense. And the Milken Knights looks like they're trying to play defense as well, but their robot, something is going wrong. And here, Team Rembrandt and High Tide depositing cubes and cones. But the Hawaiian kids and Octobots are keeping it close. It's 106 to 81 with 49 seconds left in the match. Oh, Hawaiian kids and Team Rembrandt collide in the Blue Alliance section. Octobots lose the cone they were controlling. High Tide grabbing a cone from their substation. Looks like a piece of uh, acrylic has kind of popped off. Let's see if that affects the performance. Hawaiian kids dropping a cone onto a middle node. Followed by, can the Octonauts follow up with 15 seconds left? These robots need to get onto the charging station. It's 128 to 97. We got two red robots on their charging station. The Blue Alliance robots are trying. They're struggling to balance with three, two, one. And as time expires, it levels. And it's the Red Alliance with a score of 155 to 117. We will be starting our third award segment shortly.